good evening student let us start identity law today so what is meant by identity law if you have a a union 5 so that is nothing but what it should be a and if you take a intersection 5 that is also 5 and if i consider a union with universal set i will be getting the total universal set and if i take a intersection with the universal set it will be the a set I will let you know how to prove this and let us do some example in this. Okay. So now let us continue. What is the first law? If you take for any set A, what is the first law? I can say A union with phi is equals to A. This is what I need to prove. What is U here? What is U? This is a union. This will be the phi is what? Empty set. So now let us consider one element from the left hand side that is let us take element x belongs to a union phi what is the meaning of a union phi union means what or either it should be in the set a or either it should be in the set phi so from this what i can say i can say that x belongs to set a or i can say that x belongs to set phi what we know we already know that phi is equals to null set or empty set it should not contain any element right so for the for the sure what i can say i can say that x must be belongs to a set any doubts up to here so these are if and only if statements right so what we got we got x belongs to a union phi if and only if x belongs to a from this what i can say the element is in the set first set and the same element is in the second set from this what i can say i can say that a union phi must be subset of a and we are using the symbol if and only if from this i can also conclude a is subset of what a union phi agree so if you check through the equality of sets when can i say two sets are equal a is subset of b b is subset of a from this i can conclude that a must be equals to b the same thing i'll be applying here so a set is subset of second set and the second set is subset of first set from this i can conclude that a union phi must be equals to the a set any doubts on this this is how we need to prove right so let us see one example from this so now let us consider an example a is equals to 1 2 3 right and let us consider a phi set we already know that phi set means what it is an empty set right so what we need to prove we need to check whether a union phi must be equals to a or not so let us take the left hand side what is left hand side here a union with phi what is the a set a is nothing but 1 2 3 which is already given to us union with empty set empty set means which does not contain any element agree so what is the meaning of union union means i need to combine each and every elements in the both the sets what i'll be getting here let us take a 1 2 3 from the first set if i move on to the second set there is no element so i'll be taking it as a same 1 2 3 so what is this this is nothing but our given set of so which is nothing but a from this what i can say i can say that a union phi must be equals to always a this law is known as what identity law agree if you have any doubts you can ask in the chat box right yeah now let us see the second identity law what is the second identity law for any set a what we have a intersection with phi must be equals to phi this is what we need to prove so now let us consider one element that is x from the left hand side that is a intersection phi what is the meaning of intersection intersection means the element must be belongs to both the sides what is the meaning x belongs to a and intersection means and x also should be belongs to phi agree so we already know that phi is an empty set empty set means which does not contain any, any element so what we can say we can say that one element which is there in a as well as which is there in phi which element so no element will be there why because phi does not contain any element from this what i can say i can say that yes x must be belongs to empty set agree so from this what i can say therefore i can conclude that a intersection phi is subset of phi because of this relation also i can say that the inverse what i can say i am going i am taking if and only if statement right so from this i can say that phi is also subset of a intersection phi agree if i go to the equality of a sets we can say that if two sets are subsetary uh, other what we can say i can say that a intersection phi must be equals to phi this is the proof for the identity law the second identity law so now let us see one example of the second identity law okay so now let us consider a element one two three and let us consider a phi set what is that 
5 means no element should be there. So, what is the second identity law? We need to prove that A intersection 5 must be equals to 5. So, now let us consider the left hand side. So, what is there in the left hand side here? Left hand side means A intersection with 5. So, now let us take an element A. What is this? 1, 2, 3. We need to make an intersection with 5. 5 means what? Empty set. Intersection means what? I need to take the common elements. So, in this, there is no common element. Only 5 is the common. I will be taking 5, which is nothing but 5 alone. What is this? This is nothing but my RHS. Agree? So, this is how I need to prove. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS, which means what? A intersection 5 must be equals to 5. Agree? This is the second identity law. So, now let us consider the third identity law. If you consider for any set A, what is the third identity law? A union with universal. See, this is, let us assume this is a universal set. Okay? So, A union with universal set must be equals to universal set. So, now let us see how to prove this. So, as usually, let us consider one element from the a union with universal set. What is the meaning of A union with universal set? Union means what? It should. It is a R. Either element X should be belongs to first set or either X should be belongs to second set or it can be in the both. Agree? So, from this I can say X belongs to A or I can say that X belongs to union. Agree? So, in this case what I can say? First, suppose if X is not there in the A set, obviously X must be in the U set, right? Why? Because U is nothing but a universal set. Agree or not? So, from this what I can say? I can say that X must be belongs to the universal set, right? So, what we got? We got one element X which is in the set A union with universal set and X belongs to universal set. From this what I can conclude? I can conclude that A union with universal set is subset of universal set also I can say that I am using the if and only if statement which means universal set is subset of what? A union with universal set. See actually universal set will be represented with U alone but I am taking in this shape. Why? Because here we are having union. You should not get confused between the both of the case. This is universal set. Okay. If I take simple U this is union. Okay. This is the notation I am using here. Right. So now let us continue. From this what I can say? If first set is subset of the second and second is subset of the first means, I can conclude that A union with universal set must be equals to universal set. <coughs> Sorry, any doubts up to here? So as usually, let us see one example from this. What is the example? Let us consider A set which is 1, 2, 3. Let us consider the universal set. Universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Agree? So, what we need to prove? We need to prove that A union with universal set must be equal to universal set. So, now let us consider the left hand side. This is our what? Third identity law. Agree? What is LHS? LHS is A union with universal set. Let us take all the elements in the A set. Union with what? Let us take all the elements in the universal set. Agree? What is the meaning of U? U is nothing but union. We need to take each and every element from both the sets. So, actually I can write it as what? So, I have to write all the elements in the first set along with all the elements in the second set. In second set, 1, 2, 3 are already noted down. Right? So, let us take a rest. That is 4, 5. What is this? This is nothing but our universal set. Right? So, this is nothing but U which is equals to RHS. Agree? So, what I can say? I can say that a union with universal set must be equal to the universal set. Hence proved. Right? Now let us see what is the fourth identity law. What is the identity law? If you consider for any set A, for any set A, A intersection with universal set must be equal to A alone. So now let us see how to prove this. For proving, let us consider left hand side. That is, let us consider one element from the left hand side. A intersection with universal set. Right? What is the meaning of intersection? X element should be in A and X element should be in the universal set. Right? So, uh, what is the intersection? Intersection means the element should belongs to both the sets. Right? So, if it belongs to both the sets means, obviously, what I can say? So, there may be set which is, uh, there may be an element which is not uh, in A but in universal set. But what I am taking? I am taking an uh, element which is in A as well as U. Agree? Which is the smallest set in this? 
ye agree from this what i can say obviously i can conclude that x belongs to a alone agree why because we know that a is a subset of a universal set agree hmm. so from this what i can say therefore i can conclude that a intersection with universal set is subset of a and if i go in the opposite direction that is from the uh, down to the upward because of the if and only if a statement i can say that a is subset of a union with universal set agree so with the help of equality of a sets i can conclude a intersection with universal set must be equals to a so hence proved so these are all the proofs of the all the four identity laws so now let us see some example for the identity law so now let us consider a set a let us assume a b let us take a universal set universal set is what a b c d agree so what we need to prove what is a universal set we can say that we need to prove a intersection with universal set must be equals to what must be equals to a alone for proving this let us consider left hand side what is left hand side here a intersection with universal set let us consider the a set intersection with what is a universal set that is a b c d agree uh, what is meant by intersection intersection means i have to take the common elements in both so here a and b are the common elements right what is this this is nothing but our original set a right so must be equals to a which is equals to r h s so from this i can conclude what i can conclude a intersection with the universal set must be equals to a alone agree if you have any doubts you can ask me thank you